Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, we're going back to 1989 somehow again. Um, how have I not gone through all these compacts yet? Seriously. Um, I don't know what the holdup was. And actually way back, like way, 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 way back, like first few weeks of my channel, um, a few people found me quite, quite early, which was really cool. Enough that I got a little bit of an audience. And I remember doing a poll asking, hey, what would you like me to do a video on next? And I had uh, voted on a few different sets and one of the more popular sets that people wanted to see was this one and still I never did it so <laughs> sorry so we're gonna do it today um, this is the 1989 I think it's called Polly in Polly World and I probably should have looked that up first um, it's basically the OG theme park set uh, as you know if you've watched this channel over the last year and a half, um, I purchased, I think it was earlier this year. I think it was earlier this year. Yes, I think so. Um, the entire amusement park line from uh, 1996, which I was so excited about. But this is really like the, the intro to all of that. Um, these compacts, the 1989 ones, uh, some of them are, I think, a little bit understated but uh, you can kind of see where all of the roots are for the entire vintage Polly Pocket era, 1989 being that first year, 1997 being the last year before the whole style changed, Mattel took over and changed everything. So it is always just great to dive into these 1989 sets. So with that being said, I can't wait to show you around. Let's get started. All right, folks, I looked up the name. It is the 1989 <laughs> Polly at Polly World, also known as Polly's Fun Fair. Um, so this is an amusement park theme set and um, it's a really interesting one. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. So let's open it up and check it out. And I would say we'd work from top to bottom, but it's one of those sets where you play with it flat. So we'll just kind of take a look at the whole thing. So when you open it up, you may have noticed that there is a piece here that's hanging out. So that all connects up and it's really meant to be played with completely flat. Um, so this is meant to be an amusement park of sorts. So when you walk in, these are what I would think are ticketing booths. I'm not totally sure, but I would gather that those are probably ticketing booths. I think that would make the most sense. And then there is a lot of stickers. So um, they've got this kind of yellow brick road thing going on with, I believe this is meant to be like a canteen. So some kind of place where you'll stop and get snacks, food, trash can, some benches to sit on. And then from there, it kind of goes off the rails. I mean, it seems like you're paying a lot of money to go into what is a very, very small theme park ultimately, uh, or amusement park, I should say. So there's, I think, stairs up to here. And this to me just looks like a single slide. Um, it's a wavy slide, so you, so you can see that it, it does have little grooves in it. It's not smooth. Um, so, I mean, I guess that could be fun. And then up here, there is a track for what ultimately, I guess, is a roller coaster. Um, here there are two spinning <laughs> like hamster things. Um, they're very strange looking. Their faces are very strange, um, but it doesn't spin very well. And I wouldn't say that it's like this, there's anything wrong with this. It's just the mechanism isn't really easy to spin. It's really just plastic on plastic. Um, and then just very limited paint colors here. So of course they've used the blue and this dark pink for the tracks here and the slide, but otherwise there's light pink, some purple and some yellow, and then this green, and that's really it for the color palette. 
So, I mean, kudos to them. They did try to bring in some color here, but I feel like they brought in just more of the same colors. Um, so to me, I, I feel like this, this gray blue color on the side is just, it really like washes it out. I don't know what it is about this. I just get such a weird feeling every time I look at this set. Um, but there are two things that are kind of interesting. There is this billboard on the side that appears to have a castle on it, almost as if they're implying it's like meant to be like Disneyland. It's very strange. And then there's what I think is a fish pond. Like you be the judge folks. I don't know. Is that meant to be a fish pond? I'm having a hard time like trying to figure out what some of this stuff is. Um, I think this is just meant to be greenery around here, but um, I don't know. I feel like there's very little explanation here. So would love to hear your thoughts. Is this an original fish pond without a fish pond sticker? Uh, is that meant to be a fish, those little yellow things? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so anyway, you can tell I'm probably not super enthused about this one, but um, let's talk about the pieces that came with the set. So of course it came with Polly um, and this one is pretty cute. So Polly is um, really just going for it today here at the fun fair. Um, she's wearing a pink dress with green shoes. She has her hair in her classic perm with a light purple headband and a white bow tie. And then she is holding some balloons. So uh, we all know how expensive balloons are to purchase at theme parks. They are usually super overpriced and not practical to take on rides with you. But Polly went so hard on this that she actually can't even take them out of her hand. So I guess she's taking them on the roller coaster with her. And therefore, uh, this also comes with a cart meant for the roller coaster. So it's like a little sled. And... Polly can fit in there and this is I mean I will admit this is pretty cute I say Polly can fit in there but just barely there she is <laughs> um and then I don't know where you're meant to start this because there's kind of a hill probably you walk up here it looks like um there's a place to stand here and then you can kind of push this through and I will say it does mostly stay together until you get to this joint at which point she's totally derailing right now. Woof, not the safest ride. And then what, you just go backwards, I guess? I don't know. Um, that's it, That's those are the two figures. So, um, you know, I like to say these are kind of like a set that complements an existing collection because you probably want other figures to be here. And I do find it strange that they didn't put a place for someone to properly stand. Like there isn't an actual hole here for anyone to work this. Uh, she's already got her hands full with balloons, so she's not working there. Not even sure where you'd buy the balloons. I don't know. The logistics on this one, I think, are the thing that's just really bothering me. Um, I feel like the idea was there. I don't know about the execution and I know that it's really unusual of me to like rip on a poly set because I, normally I love all of them, but this one, I just, I don't know, folks. I don't know. This one is just not it for me. Um, and that's probably why I'm having feelings and clearly feeling some type of way about this, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, because maybe I'm being harsh. How do you feel about this blue color? I just feel like it washes everything out. Um, it's a really strange set. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, don't get me wrong. It's cute. I do like the idea of this and I mean, the figure is cute, not very practical, but it's cute. So, I mean, this, this image alone is very cute. Again, not practical, but cute. But I feel like they could have executed this better. And quite frankly, they did in 1996. So um there it is <laughs> that's how i feel about that so uh not much more to say about this one i would just love to hear your thoughts um that is the 1989 poly at poly world also known as Polly's fun fair All right, 
So what do you think about this one? I find it kind of strange because it's basically like a slide, a roller coaster thing, and one other ride where you just kind of spin around. And I get that um, a lot of fairs have just like a few rides or are really small. Um, but I feel like they had really big plans for this one and then it just didn't execute quite as they wanted it to. But uh, I don't know, maybe they didn't have as many designs to pick from back then, who knows. But I, I feel like this, the reason I haven't really shown this one is because it's never really fully excited me. Um, I will say it was nice to pick up on the fish pond detail. Um, even though it's a bit of a different fish pond, it is a fish pond nonetheless. So um, that was fun, but yeah, I don't know, don't know what else to really say about that. Um, so not my favorite, but I don't hate it. It's just, I just found it kind of, uh, of the sets. I don't know if I would have played with this one very much, to be honest. Um, just because it feels, I don't know. I don't want to say boring, but it's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I'm just being honest here. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Um, cause I very, very rarely would say that about something, but this one's just, I don't know. I just don't have, I don't have big feelings about it. So it's the way it is. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Uh, please like the video, please leave a comment. All of that stuff helps the channel. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, it's free to do. It's the easiest way to support the channel. And I come out with new videos every Monday and Thursday. And you can also follow me on social media on uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. That's the best place to connect with me outside of YouTube. Um, but not much else to report on for now. Uh, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully you uh, still are going to stick around after my lackluster review of this compact, but um, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. Just, it's just not my favorite. That's all. There's other ones I like more. That's all. That's all I have to say. Um, so again, leave your thoughts in the comments on this one, but I hope you enjoyed the tour at least. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.